<sighs> okay, y'all. I mean, hold up. Before you leave, I know you're about to leave because you see TMZ Sports up here. Should I, should I even be on TMZ with credible news that I'm about to share with y'all that y'all have seen on the, on the wire today? And that is that Caitlin Clark has been offered 5 million stacks to join Big 3 and Ice Cube. Lisa Leslie coaching has won two championships. Nancy Lieberman has won a championship. The women are making their mark in the big three league. But really, is this good news or is this bad news? Caitlin Clark has been offered five million stacks to join big three. And I love everything about it. I'm here for all of it. I've seen people online saying things like, oh, I worry. I worry that she might get hurt. Okay, she can get hurt walking down the street. She can get hurt in her own practice. So I don't really get that concern. Another concern is, will she be too tired to play in the WNBA? Another sentiment out there is, screw the WNBA, go play in the big three. You got five milli. What do y'all think? Is this good news? Is this where we're going? There's so many other leagues happening, Brianna. Stewart is starting a league. I don't know what's happening with that. You can go overseas. Now you can play in the big three. I have a couple of friends who have, who've had developmental leagues for women. I was actually involved in the N, God, they're going to kill me, WNBA, uh, WNDA, Women's National Development Association. I had three teams in there and then the pandemic started. I had a Austin team, a Dallas team, and a San Antonio team, maybe a Houston team too. I had four teams. So there are lots of opportunities out there for women to play semi-professionally, professional, all the way professional, over, over the hill. This is great news. But let's keep it a buck, y'all. This ain't about necessarily equality for women. This is business. This is business. And people are recognizing that women's basketball and some of the players in the game at every level Bring an audience, bring sponsors, bring advertisers, bring partners. Caitlin Clark is a sponsor magnet. I got no problem with that whatsoever. I saw this on my phone and I literally did a twirly dance. This is excellent news. I got nothing bad to say about this. I got no conspiracy theories. I ain't mad that she white. I don't, I, I don't care about none of that. Someone getting an offer like this means that somebody else can get an offer like this. That's how I see it. I'm more of the glass is all the way full. This is, there are no downsides to this news for me at all. I don't care about anything but more opportunities for women. I don't care. That's what I care about. And a $5 million offer is huge for anybody. Now, what about all the people out there who were, who were, who were theorizing that the WNBA players were going to be mean to Caitlin? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I've heard a lot of dumb things. They're going to be mean to Caitlin. I heard, I think Jason Whitlock say, I'm going to get on him on another video. I heard Jason Whitlock say, well, the, the black lesbians in the WNBA are going, oh, what? Jason, sit down, sir. Stop it. Those women could care less about anything most of the people who are dissing the WNBA have to say. They have no credibility whatsoever. They have jumped all these YouTube People, all these other conspiracy theorists on their podcast have jumped on the bad bandwagon of women's basketball. Come on over. Hey, I'm, I'm good with that. Come on over. You're feeding the algorithm. You're pushing us to the top of the search engines. I dig it. I'm here for all of it. I'm not mad at one person who's hating on the WNBA or women's basketball or women's sports. I don't care. It's all creating more buzz, more notoriety, more presence for young girls and young women. That's why we did what we did. That's why the people before my generation did what they did so that we could get to this point 
where women were literally making a living as athletes, as influencers, as businesswomen, as CEOs. This day was coming. I'm preaching right now. I'm preaching right now because I dig it. I dig that Caitlin Clark got this offer. And I think it's going to be hard for her to turn it down. I think it's going to be super hard for her to turn it down. So let me go back to when I was saying, I went off on a tangent about the fact that there are people out there and online talking about what the WNBA players are going to be hating on Caitlin Clark. That is so dumb. You, how, who you go, how you going to hate on somebody who's bringing, bringing additional eyeballs online and offline to your, to your job? I guarantee you they're excited. I guarantee you they are excited. The Caitlin effect is in effect. Great. Bring it on. But my point was, why aren't they saying the same thing about the men in three ball? I mean, because we're about to see sexism raise its ugly head at a whole new level. We are about to see sexism and otherism raise its heads at a whole new level. Men love to support women as long as women. Y'all stay over there. Yeah, y'all stay over there. Yeah, yeah. Da, da, ah, don't try to play sports with us. Y'all can play the sports that we play, but don't try to play with us. So low key, why aren't y'all talking about the fact that men are going to be hating the fact that there is a, and I'm doing air quotes right, right now, there is a girl who's a better shooter than everybody in that league. <laughs> insert evil laugh yeah I said it Caitlin Clark is top 1% before she even picks up the basketball a better shooter than everybody in that league she's in the top 1% of the best shooters in that league I guarantee you without me even being able to name them by name you want to talk about some hatred you want to talk about some hatred that's about to happen Oh my goodness, the sexism that has been bubbling up under uh, underneath some people, some of y'all just outright with it. You know, your racism, your sexism, your otherism, your your uh, microaggressions, all that stuff is on display at all times. But there is a pop population of y'all, percentage of y'all that has pretended to support equality among the, the genders and humanity that are about to lose your mind because Caitlin might join this, this league. Don't be mad, fellas. Don't be mad. Join the fun. Women's sports are fun. Admit it. My brother's calling me. I'm going to have to take this call later. My brother who loves women's sports because he loves his sister because he grew up respecting his mother and his sister playing basketball. Let me tell y'all something. Just, just join the fun, guys. It's okay. We're good. We're equal. We're humans. Everybody bleeds. Everybody dies. We're human. We're all equal. I know that's going to disturb a lot of y'all, but we are all equal. And a woman playing in the big three league, here for it. Buying season tickets. There's a, there's a, a, a franchise in, they play in Dallas sometimes. That's my hometown. I will be at every game. Yeah, I said it. Tame your sexism. Forget all the hatred about the WNBA and Caitlyn. Y'all need to start talking about these guys, my dudes, who low-key ain't gonna like it. Ain't gonna like it one bit. For no good reason. If your league is good, your league is good. If your league has the top ballers, your league has the top ballers. Doesn't matter whether they're women or men. And Caitlin Clark has a specific skill that is undeniably valuable. I can't think of maybe five people who shoots as well as Caitlin Clark does from 30 feet. Curry. Dame Lillard. I can't think of anybody else off the dome right now. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go and get, give me some lunch real quickly or dinner, whatever it is. And I just wanted to see what y'all thought about Caitlin Clark potentially accepting a $5 million offer to join the big three. Put it in the comment. If you like this, don't forget to share it. Don't forget to like it, comment, feed the algorithm. Let's go. Let's have a great conversation. And I cannot wait to read the craziness that's about to happen in the comments. See you guys next time.